If you make icons or simple illustrations like this in Adobe Illustrator, sometimes you may find you need to separate the strokes from the fills. Maybe it's for the printing process or for some other reason. But in this video, I've got an amazing tip for you that'll get it done in just a couple of clicks. Here's an example, a stationary set icon just made out of overlapping rectangles. And you might want to separate the strokes and fills because you need to have no fills here. So if I select all of these and add the none fill swatch, it's really easy to see all that overlapping art that we would normally have to go in and cut and trim and that would take a lot of time. So I'm going to go ahead and undo that and instead I'm going to use the live paint bucket which is right over here in the toolbar and we're only going to use this just for a couple of clicks. So grab that tool and instead of clicking in these regions here, because I don't want to color, I just want to create a live paint group. So click over here on the edge without coloring. And when you do that, what you'll see is you now have a live paint group. And you can always tell that because the bounding box handles are really large and they have these sparkles in them. Now what I need to do is expand and I've got my top control bar open. There's an expand button right here. So I'll just expand that live paint group and all the work's been done for me now. So what I need to do here is just ungroup. And when I do this, I can grab the fill and just tap my keyboard arrow key here to nudge the fills off to the side. So you can see what I have here are just nicely trimmed stroke. So this is really great. Now I still have one step to do over here because what that live paint has done is it's divided all of these shapes. So you can see I have a bunch of sort of cookie cutter shapes here. Let me undo that. So to merge these together, I'm going to go over to the pathfinder and go to merge here. And what this does is it merges all of the areas that are contiguous and that are the same color. So let me click on that. And now what we've done is just, you know, simplified those fills there. And there's a little bit of a cookie cutter going on, but it's so much better. And just a couple of clicks to get that done. And so one way that I like to work with this is I can just, you know, nudge this back over, but I also really like it, maybe do a little bit of offset there, I think that adds a little something. So you can off register them or change the stroke weight, whatever you need to do. Let's take a look at another one so we can just get a chance to go over all of the steps again. So the first step is to select your artwork and then go into the live paint bucket, click on an edge so that you're not coloring it. And it looks like I didn't quite make it that time. I got a warning. So let me click again. And that time I got it switching to my selection tool and I can confirm that that is a live paint group. And then all I need to do is go up to the top control bar with that selected and click to expand it. Now that I've done that, I'm just going to ungroup and I can come over here and separate. Let's see. I might in this case, I think I have to ungroup it again. Let me try that one more time. Yes. So it was because of the way I had that art originally grouped. So now I have my fills separate from my strokes and I'm going to come over to the pathfinder and just merge everything of the same color. So this is a much more simplified bit of art here. And then I have my beautifully trimmed paths that will fit really nicely over the fills. Well, I hope you can use that tip. Let me know in the comments, give me a like and subscribe. My name is Laura Coyle. I've been a freelance illustrator for many years and now I teach Adobe Illustrator on YouTube and in my learning community at lauracoilcreative.com. Thank you for watching.